Welcome back, gentlemen. We have an exciting day today. Jiraiya has our solar array laid out for the simple pump, and we're gonna install that right now. Let me show you the components. Check this out. All right, we have it mocked up here for you, and we're ho hopefully we'll get this running. So here are the two big panels. How many watts each, Jiraiya, 300? I believe they're each 300. 300, they're big boys, and they require a big boy mount. Goodness, look at that thing. <laughs> Schedule 40 or 60, whatever that, whatever that heavy gauge steel pipe, looks like four inch. We've got, uh, what, 150 pounds of concrete in there as well, because this thing is gonna be a huge sale, as you can see with those big panels. So it needs to be really, really strong. Uh, we've got it mocked up here. We'll get those installed and our compass out and everything pointing in the right direction here. Now you saw yesterday, we had their, our hand pump on the simple, simple pump. That has been replaced by this, and we just kind of mocked it up. So we'll take this apart, show you how it all works. Uh, it's pretty amazing. And then here is our electrical panel and our battery system. So let's get to work, and we'll bring you guys along. Oh, okay. Pay attention there. One bolt there at the end. All looks like the hardware is all stainless. Stainless. Yeah, so we can raise, raise the bottom here, the bottom clamp. Mm -hmm. Yep. We'll start with that, and then we can can we can other? true that top. There we go. Must be right in there somewhere. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you're going to rotate that probably about an inch or so to me. Okay. To be counterclockwise. A little bit more. Keep going. Right there. That'll do just it. Like, so you, just like, just, just, just like we have it here. Yeah. That way it'll be the shortest wire run. Well, Panel number one. two of them and then we'll just set the panel up here and then we'll just reach up and grab it and slide it into okay. position. Yeah, just jump on up there, Jiraiya. I can lift this here, no problem. I got the corner. Perfect. All right, I've got it. If you want to change positions, I'm let's just slide it right along top of this panel here. Just lay it right on down. Let it carry the weight. I'm going to put my bolt in here. Okay, down a little bit. Down a little bit. Okay, right there. Hold that. Holding. Just finished up installing the panels. Uh, now we're going to show how we can kind of rotate this into position. Now, solar panels, as we know, they like to point towards the south. And being pretty close to the 45th parallel here, it's not ideal for solar, but we don't have that much demand here, to be honest. So, uh, dry, you can see. Uh, can you rotate that to show how that works? We've got it almost tight, and if the two of us get on there, we'll be able to rotate it into position. <laughs> that's okay. We already tried it. We know it can be done. Once that's done, we will uh, put a spot weld on that uh, to lock it in, because that is a huge sail, and the wind will move that around if we don't. All right, you want to see the little electric motor? Jiraiya, can you pull this cover and we'll show how this works and get this arm adjusted? I want you guys to know that you can thank Jiraiya for this mock-up. He built all this so that we could show it to you, uh, what we have here. So we'll start the pump, the simple pump now. We took off the handle and this is um, an attachment that has a motor on it. And then we've adjusted this lever arm. And we haven't ran this yet, but I think we've got it adjusted properly. Motors inside there. This is the charge controller for the solar. You can even set this up on a timer. If you have livestock, you want to just keep something like um, um, something full. There's the relay fuses, but very clean. We've got two 24, 12 volt batteries wired. Uh, are these that are in series? So 24 volts. This is our final connection. It's pretty well just plug and play, isn't it? 
Yeah, very nice connectors. We didn't have to do any of this. It was all pre-done. There we go. Look at that. Oh man, if that doesn't give you the fizz. Come on, Jirai, do you have the fizz right now? Yeah, it's good. I want to see water. Let's see water. It'll take a minute. It's quiet. I was afraid it was going to be noisy. Uh, no lubrication per the sticker. So these are all uh, really long service bushings, but look how slow it turns. There's just not going to be a lot of wear and tear on that. But that's actively pumping. And you activated that by the switch over here? By the switch, yeah. That's just an, a, basically an override, huh? Or is that the main switch? Just yeah, on demand? Switch, yeah. Let's see if I, if I switch it. Yep. Yeah. Once that's inside the little pump house, you're not even going to hear it. No. Incredible. Just think with these solar panels right here and that charge controller and a little inverter and some batteries, what more would a guy need in a remote cabin somewhere, really? To be honest, I was a little intimidated when I started opening up all the boxes and all of the cables and everything. I was thinking, goodness, this might be beyond professional homeowner grade, but it was actually quite simple. Even if you don't have any electrical background or understanding, you could, anyone could easily put this in easily. Uh, very nice, nice system. All right, I'm gonna get back to the drawing board, draw up a little, uh, a cute little shed for this, but I'm thinking that might be our next project. All right, gentlemen, we, we are chooching now. <laughs> Jirai just pointed out, oh, we have a green light now instead of a red one. You know, I don't know that, that this job should be left in the hands of professional homeowners, but that's, that's what we have here. All right, so we are coming in with 24 volts. All right, hit the switch. Now we're going, look at that thing go now. <laughs> Sorry, Simple Pump, they're over there scratching their head in frustration right now. Oh yeah, that thing is going good. How much more water do we have? Yeah, it's got some power to yeah, it now. I'm feeling a little bit of pushback on the hose. <laughs> That's fabulous. All right, we got that sorted out. And these are just ganky old batteries that we're gonna, we were gonna go recycle. Uh, they're not even good batteries. So we get some good AGMs on here and this thing is gonna be a pretty robust system. All right, there we have it. That's how you wire 12 into 24, right there. We, we had it, we had it the wrong way. <laughs>